everybody this is Bonnie from Bonnie's Creative Place and today I am going to show you how to make this cute little birthday card here this would be great for the cat lover in your life or you could switch it up and you could put like a happy retirement on there for someone that's gonna retire I think this is a really cute card we made this card in our Monday night class and I wanted to share it with you so um also, some little news that if you order from me in the month of April, you will receive the Creative Cardiology Teams uh, tutorial for free just for placing an order. Any size does not matter, but make sure when you're checking out online that you leave your email because I emailed this to you. Okay, so let's get started with this card. The first thing we need is a piece of flirty flamingo that is eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to score it in the middle at four and a quarter. Then we need a piece of DSP, and this is the petted, hmm, the pet, pampered pet DSP, and it is going to be retiring here at the end of May, and um, this one will not be available so if you want it it's while supplies last you better grab it now it is so wonderful now the stamp set and the dies are carrying over but the paper is not so we need a piece of this that is five and a quarter by four then we need another piece of flirty flamingo that is three by three and then we need another piece of whisper white that is two and three fourths by two and three fourths and then we need a scrap piece of Whisper White for stamping our cat. So let's get started. Things, first thing we're going to do is we are going to fold the Flirty Flamingo right in half. You can score this on your scoreboard ahead of time. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But I do like to give it a really good crease so that it lays flat so I can work with it easily. Then we are going to grab our DSP and we can attach this right down. So we're going to put this down just like this. There we go. And we can set this aside. Now we're going to bring in our two pieces of Whisper White. We're going to take the cat and we're going to take some Mento Black ink and we're going to stamp him onto this piece of Scrap Whisper White, just like that. Then we're going to bring over this piece of Whisper White, and we're going to take the Happy Birthday, and I'm taking this out of the Senior Retirement, Senior Years. This is carrying over, and I'm going to be using that Happy Birthday right there. And I'm going to stamp this up. And I'm kind of stamping it not, not all the way over to the side, not all the way at the bottom, but just right about there. And hopefully I got that fairly straight. I did. And then in this Pampered Pet bundle that we're going to be using, there are some hearts, butterflies, or butterflies, and a little mouse. This was an afterthought after I made this card, and on Friday night, a lot, or Monday night, a lot of my ladies went ahead and added this. I said we sh I should have added a little mouse right there, kind of near that happy birthday. That didn't come out too good. I think I'm going to flip it over, pour this, pull this closer to me, so I can kind of see it a little better. So I'm sorry if I'm off camera. Well, now my happy birthday is a little crooked, but it's all good. There you go. See how that kind of just going to flow like along here. On this side, I'll hold it up. My happy birthday is a little crooked, but on this side, he didn't really come out too good. But I could use a marker on him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll use a marker because this happy birthday's straighter. <laughs> So, okay, so we're going to leave this like this. We are done with the black for now. Now we're going to do some coloring. We're going to set that aside for a minute. I am going to take 
the smoky slate light and dark and I'm going to color everything in but I'm not going to color this little white right here like that little white of the fur I kind of I kept that off and I'm just going like this coloring in the tail is this on camera yep okay just checking sometimes I pull it closer and then I'm kind of using his jawline and I'm just going to like go around it like this to kind of stop it a little bit and then I'm going to take that then I go ahead with the black and I or the dark got the wrong end the dark smoky slate and I just kind of give a little bit down here a little bit where his paws are kind of just decide the end of his tail up here in the top of his forehead just kind of like along some of these lines not a lot then I come back in with the smoky slate light and I kind of blend them out a little and then I do these one a little just to blend out the colors it all blends together and then come up here blend out the tail and then blend out the face cute and now I'm going to take the color lifter and I'm going to go in a circular motion up into the gray I'm bringing it down a little bit I'm blending it so it makes it look lighter and darker I'm kind of not going too much so see so just like that and it just kind of blends the colors that will clear even more if it looks a little gray but um, it'll clear up a little bit more so I did it just like that then I'm going to take the flirty flamingo light and I'm coloring in his ears so that's how I did the little kitty then I'm going to take the dye that comes with it I'm going to bring in the little guy here and you need platform one platform two and offset these we're going to set this on my little platform I'm going to get some of my tape here and I'm going to hold him down and then I'm going to put this across and I'm just going to crank this through okay put that out of the way and there's our little kitty he adorable <sighs> all right so now we're going to bring this back in I had some ink on me and I got it on that side so I am going to flip it over and use this side now <laughs> oh, back and forth so then what I did was I went ahead and I kind of decided where I wanted my cat I kind of want him right here so then I'm going to take the hearts with the flirty flamingo ink and I just kind of stamped one up here one over here and then one right about there I just thought that was cute and then I'm going to pop him up on some with some dimensionals so I'm just going to take a couple dimensionals here pop them up put him on the paper then I went ahead and I took the black stamp and write marker and the pen type end and I just kind of you know with this mouse being new here I'm just going to kind of go along like this I'm just 
a, one of these little markers and just adding lines. You could squiggle these if you want, but they are so much fun just to do lines like this. And this Stampin' Rate marker is $3, and it's a good deal to have. So then we went and did that, and then I'm going to take this piece here, and I'm going to add this. Going over top of that bump did not want to happen. <laughs> go and then we're going to add this right to this paper there we go and then again I went ahead and I added dimensionals to the back of this bring this piece in and we're just going to kind of line it up right there and that is how I made this cute little happy birthday card so thanks for stopping by everybody share like comment all the good stuff bye bye